Yo, what's up guys? It's Young, the CEO of Bustin' Noob. So if you need a job, go ahead and subscribe. I can help you out with that. And this is a P90 uh, Moab on Arcaden. Nothing too, too special with this, but I did want to bring you guys some information. Um, not game-breaking information or anything like that, but I wanted to let you know about some concerns that I have with Black Ops 2. Uh, before I get into that, though, uh, I have not figured out the answer to the question I had on my last video. If you did not see my last video, there will be a link in my outro where you can click on my last video. Basically, the question was, why in the morning are your hunger pains uh, greater if you had a full full meal the night before? Um, so if somebody has that answer, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. I will be thankful for that. But recently, um, just today actually, Brooklyn loner uh, my good buddy on youtube uh he's on my psn friend list xbox friends list good dude overall good channel go check him out uh, i have the link in the description he posted uh some black ops 2 kill confirmed gameplay and the gameplay honestly it has me a little bit alarmed for black ops 2 so he has the video posted now so go over to his channel check out the video let me know what you guys think also but basically uh, first off, the guns look like they kill really fast and have no recoil. Now, I know some guns are going to be stronger than other guns, but uh, every time I see any footage of Black Ops, it does look like the guns kill very fast. And it also looks like none of the guns really have recoil. I mean, at one point in time, he picked up an LMG, and that thing really didn't look like it had any kick at all. So, I don't know. I guess, you know, we can see that when the game comes out and we have it in our hands. But what's more alarming to me is the score streak system, how it's going to work. Um, looking at the video, the dude was running Hunter Killer Drone, um, Lightning Strike, and uh, the Stealth Chopper. So basically, anything you do that gets you a score will build up your score streak for your, you know, for your streaks in Black Ops 2. Previously, it was kill streaks. Modern Warfare 3 went to point streaks. Now it is score streaks. So anything that adds to your score, and I mean anything. I mean this dude, honestly, I think he blew up a car at one point in time, and that added to his score. Um, so check that out. I might be wrong about that, but I could have sworn I saw him blow up a car, and you know you get something for it, and you know it, it went towards a score. So in kill confirmed, when you kill someone, it was like 75 points. When you pick up a tag, it's like 50 points. But when your teammates pick up tags, it'll still give you the 50 points for confirming a kill. Obviously, to me, that throws up a big red flag. There are going to be a lot of people camping and kill confirm who are going to let their teammates pick up tags. And they're just going to sit back and let their score streak fill up. And, I mean, it's as simple as that. Why would you have to go out and confirm tags when if your friends confirm it, they're probably getting points you're I mean they're they're getting scores and you're getting scored towards your score streak so that could possibly be abused by some players who just want to sit back and build up their score streak um, so I definitely see a problem with that also like I said he was running the hunter killer drone lightning strike and the stealth chopper but the funny thing is that I noticed when he died, when he spawned back in and called in his hunter killer drone, he spawned back in and called in his stealth chopper. Those kills that those streaks got for him also added to his score streak for that life. So basically, if you get if you're in a life and you get a stealth chopper, you die. You come in, you call in your stealth chopper. That thing gets, you know, 5 kills. Now, it's only 15 points, but those points for uh, each 15 points for each kill is going to start building up your score streak again for the new life. So, I mean, it, like I said, that could possibly be a problem. It's, it might be a good thing. It might be a bad thing. I mean, I want streaks to stack up, but when you die and come back in, should those streaks still count towards your current streak? I don't know because, again, if you if you get – it could be a continuous flow of kill streaks or score streaks in the air air support it could be a continuous flow of air support in the air depending on depending on what type of player that you're playing against so if you're in a lobby let's say you're just in a regular pub and you're stomping the kids and your score streak is building up building up building up you die you call it in it's still building up building up building up for you guess what that means kill streaks are going to dominate the game in modern warfare 2 people had a problem with air support and kill streaks dominating the game and in 
Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, what did we see? We saw more of the Stinger. The Stinger is going to dominate the game if air support dominates the game. So Modern Warfare 3, kill streaks were useless. The assault package was basically useless. Black Ops 2, it could possibly be the same thing because it could honestly be continuous rape if you're getting your score streaks, spawning back in, and those things are getting you your next score streaks. So let me know what you guys think, man. Take a look at the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and be easy.